Interesting facts about tarantulas. Approximately 820 species of tarantulas are known. No wonder the spider that loves to feast on birds is huge. The Goliath tarantula is the largest spider in the world in terms of size and body weight. Its body length can reach 11.9 cm in length, although some individuals have been known to reach a length of 28 cm, which is about the diameter of a dinner plate. The span of the legs of the tarantula can reach 28 cm, and the weight is 175 grams. The tropical rain forests of South America are home to the largest populations of tarantulas. You can meet them on the African continent, in Australia, and Oceania. It is difficult to find tarantulas in Eurasia. Only small populations have been recorded in Portugal, Spain, and Italy. Bird eaters prefer wet areas, such as swamps. Sometimes they live in burrows dug or left behind by other animals, as well as in the crowns of equatorial forests. Some species live in drought-resistant, semi-desert regions. Tarantulas have eight eyes, which consist of three groups, medial, the largest, located in the center. Usually tarantulas have two medial eyes. Designed to hunt down prey. Side, located above the medial and at a greater distance from each other, on the left and right sides of the head. Side pairs increase the angle of view and help the spider see 360 degrees. Faceted, the smallest. There are four of them. They are located in one row under the medial. Usually two of them are slightly smaller than the other two. These pairs help to distinguish colors. Spiders do not have the same color perception as humans, but they are also capable of it. Although spiders have many eyes, their eyesight is very poor, for world perception they often use their hairs on their abdomen and paws, with which they are perfectly oriented in the world. Also, their eyes are very sensitive to light, as spiders are nocturnal. There is no skeleton inside their body, but they have an outer one, but it is also called an exoskeleton. The exoskeleton protects the spider from damage, and also serves as a muscle attachment. Tarantula spiders are deprived of a sense of affection, therefore, to think that the spider knows you as a master and loves you is too wrong. These feelings are unique to you in this relationship. Spiders do not have ear-shaped hearing organs, but with the help of tiny hairs on their legs, they pinpoint the source of a sound. The life of male spiders is shorter than the life of females. There are species of tarantulas whose females are able to live up to 25 to 30 years, while males are up to 1 to 3 years old. This is a very aggressive spider species, especially when it comes to their personal territory. Their hair can cause severe irritation, and their fangs can cause a serious wound. The fangs of the tarantula are curved, which means that it must strike down to pierce its prey. It is one of the few spider species known to make a hissing sound when rubbing its limbs together. Such a sound is a clear sign that the tarantula feels threatened. They won't retreat or run away, so it's best to leave them alone in this state. Many tarantulas molt, constantly shedding old skin and producing new, as representatives of the snake kingdom do. Molting tarantulas are sometimes used to regenerate lost limbs. With the loss of a limb, the tarantula increases the pressure of the fluid in the body in order to tear off part of the shell. Fluid is then pumped into the limb, whereby the old skin is torn off and new skin is created in the shape of the lost limb. The mold is filled with liquid until it becomes solid. After that, the tarantula regenerates the lost part of the shell. This process can take several hours. All this time, the spider is in a particularly vulnerable state due to the presence of exposed parts of the body that have a rubber texture. In self-defense, tarantulas can eject tiny, spiny hairs from their bodies. These extremely fine hairs irritate the skin and can enter the nose and mouth, causing severe swelling, itching and choking. They are especially dangerous for soft open areas of mucous membranes. Once in the eyes, they cause blurred vision. 
Females can be very selective in choosing a mate. However, one thing is certain, they do not kill the male they mate with like other types of spiders. This can only happen if the female is very hungry. Males usually die themselves a couple of months after mating, having fulfilled their reproductive duty. The female tarantula spins a web, laying from 50 to 2000 eggs in it, depending on the species. Then she turns the web into a cocoon, sometimes weaving hairs into it, thereby protecting future offspring. The female guards the nest for six to seven weeks. The young will appear eight weeks after mating. After this, the molting process begins, in which the old exoskeleton is shed and a new, larger one appears. In the first year of life, spiderlings molt five or six times. They take about two to three years to reach maturity. Tarantulas are not ideal killing machines. All species have incredibly poor eyesight. To compensate for this, they have to rely on feeling the vibrations of the ground when hunting. When the spider senses a change, it pounces on its prey, subduing it with venom. The darkness of twilight also helps him catch the victim by surprise. Although tarantulas love to feast on small birds, they rarely manage to catch them in the wild. Therefore, their diet mainly consists of insects, worms, rodents, lizards, frogs, toads, bats and even sometimes snakes. Tarantulas will take the opportunity to eat anything they can get their hands on. When they are in captivity, cockroaches are often included in their diet. The tarantula may also stand up on its hind legs to display its large fangs as an additional defense strategy. Most tarantulas are considered harmless to humans. They may bite if they feel threatened. If you keep your distance, you'll be fine. Although tarantulas are venomous spiders, their venom is not very toxic to humans. For most people, it causes skin irritation or swelling. Their venomous sting can be compared to that of a wasp. Tarantulas are often brown in coloration, which can be lighter or darker in color. It all depends on where they live. Tarantulas have four pairs of legs, with distinct spines on the third and fourth pair of legs. Bird eaters can go without food for up to two years. Tarantulas are used to treat the fear of arachnids. These are one of the most popular exotic animals, especially on the black market. The body of all packs is covered with a chitinous shell or exoskeleton. As the spider grows, the exoskeleton is shed. That is, all tarantulas molt. The older the spider, the less molting. Some tarantulas can dive underwater and emerge from it. Speaking of the web, it should be noted that tarantulas do not weave it so often. For example, if they need to strengthen their housing. Also from the web, they make hammocks and beds during molting. They cannot chew food, so they inject food juices into their prey and wait for the food to turn into juice. The tarantula has a mouth resembling a straw, and easily suck up liquefied food. This type of spider has many enemies. Snakes, lizards, birds, coyotes and foxes eat these spiders. Dear friends if you liked the video, please subscribe and like thank you.